YouTube know what it is. OTB Bros back in the cut. No shop. Gang gang. 90 degrees. In the fucking sea, fam. That shit not right. That shit don't make no fucking sense, bro. Most worrying signs of climate crisis. The niggas grilling fish. Shit finna get bad, bro. If the sea is 90 degrees, bro. Niggas gonna walk out there. Yeah, some fish cooking in there. Nigga, nigga. global warming right now, bad to the motherfucker, fam. That's that sea, that's that seafood uh, boil, nigga. Bro, all the, bro, this shit, <laughs> this shit bad. That's what we uh, locking into today. You know what I'm saying? This shit finna be crazy. Smash the like button, smash the subscribe button on the world to 15K. Let's get it. Turn your notifications on too, bro. Every day we show you some new climate data point that is crazier than the last. Well, here's today's edition. The water temperature off the coast of Florida yesterday spiked above 98 degrees. Ocean water. They really got it wrong, famous of honey. And this is in Florida, fam. Right off the coast. That's crazy. 90 degrees. No, 100 degrees. Fam, imagine going to try to cool off. On the beach in the water, you get in that bitch and that shit a hundred degrees. <laughs> you get you get in and, 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 and you get burn blisters. Right. Shit worse to be that shit's <gasps> crazy. Back in the hot ass sand. <laughs> Hell no. And guess how much you spend just to get to the beach? Thousands. Nigga. Shit far from me. I probably spend like a grand. Water. Ninety-eight degrees. Also in Florida, you might recall that yesterday we told you farmers insurance is now the fourth home insurer to flee the state due largely to increased climate risk. And according to industry numbers, the average home insurance premium in Florida is 42% higher than last year and miles ahead of the average premium nationwide. So is that because of the like the climate change and the global warming or is that because Florida is fucking hurricane territory right. and it's taking all the houses? Well, as soon as that he said all that shit, I'm wondering like what this had to do with the sea. Cause are they saying the hurricane? Like, that shit, you know what I'm saying? Because he's saying, he said farmers insurance is leaving Florida, but that nigga was basically saying, uh, the way he said it, he said because of, like, climate change is what he said. Mm. Which don't sound right to me, fam. They're not leaving because of climate change, they're leaving because of fucking hurricanes. That's fucking shit. Look at that. Exactly. Climate change ain't do that shit. I'm not leaving because the sea is not. I mean, I guess breeze. weather, I guess bad weather is climate change, technically, but that's not what I think of. But because of that shit, nigga. Nah. This shit getting real hectic around here. Oh, fuck. You blew the whole house down. 42% higher is crazy. People be having four homes. They probably paying hella insurance on that motherfuckers to be there bitches for the summer. That's yeah, it. right. The average premium nationwide. Now, there's some local market yeah, reasons for that, but the main reason for the... That shit look wiped out. That shit don't even... That's what Florida look like? It's the, Man, hell that's no. That shit look like the desert. This is what are. That shit does not look good. This is simply climate disasters Jeez. keep ravaging the state at a markedly increased clip, making it just too expensive to operate there. Fam, this looks like fucking like, like they're a leaving, developing country. They're this leaving shit the way it is because it's too expensive to worry about. You asked me, this ain't even in the USA from what I'm looking at. This shit don't even look like no <laughs> American shit, fam. I'm being serious. It is, fam. We're in fucking Florida. That shit. Right. That shit, but the ballot in Florida. Will. Of course, Republicans like Governor Ron DeSantis <laughs> administration and members of the Florida congressional Florida, delegation are calling the problem a liberal agenda, ignoring the numbers, attacking everyone from insurance companies following their business interests to President Joe Biden's point person on climate change. That person, presidential envoy for climate, John Kerry's on Capitol Hill today, being shouted out as. This nigga about old as Joe Biden. Why he got all these old niggas on his staff? Man? That nigga <laughs> face sagging like a motherfucker. With the crimson chin, you. fam. Let's see what he talking about, though. Might be smart. Climate change. That person, presidential envoy for climate, John Kerry's on Capitol Hill today, being shouted out as an avatar of the radical woke mob as the ocean off Florida approaches sous vide levels. You can't worry about the efficient. Punch as well levels? I don't know. So, did he mean Soviet? That nigga says sous vide. Sous vide, I don't know what that means. I spelled out Soviet in my brain, I swear to you. Hey, somebody, I see, you, I don't know how to spell it. I would just look it up, but just say it in the way he did. And spell it however. I, I put sous vide, so, put sous vide, like S U V E T. Okay. Let's see what it 
That's what I typed in about up Soviet. Yeah, but I don't know what that ain't talking about. Hey, y'all line us in the comments. I know y'all know. Please. We lost. That's why we love y'all, fam. That, that one just blew me. You can't worry about the efficiency of your home if you can't make rent, if you can't make your war your mortgage payment, and you can't worry about the emissions of your automobile payment, of your automobile if you can't make the, the payments on your car. I believe that you are representing a far left radical agenda. Those are my beliefs. Elizabeth Colbert is a staff writer. For Fam, your beliefs is common sense. <laughs> That's some weird. What the fuck? Hell, I don't care about the quality of my house, fam. If I can't pay it's my rent, funny. I gotta pay my rent, cuz. What's she finna what? say? I don't know. Scientist raising alarms as ocean to uh, New Yorker who has covered climate scientist. change for decades. She's also author of Under a White Sky: The Nature Elizabeth of the Future, and she joins me now. Elizabeth, great to have you on. I've, I'm such an admirer of your writing for for many years on this topic, and I thought of you as we keep having one data point after another. Someone who's chronicled this written about the implications for a long time, just what you are thinking and feeling as you see this play out right now. Well, it's a sort of sickening feeling, I have to say, you know, and I think that it's probably shared. Um, I also sort of seized on that, um, those figures out of Florida, which are just absolutely, you know, I guess paradoxically chilling. I think a lot of scientists are looking at this spike in sea surface temperatures as, as among the most worrying signs that you could, you know, have. Um, scientists, you know, as you and I have discussed over the years, have been warning us about this for a really long time. You know, with the first report on climate change, the dangers of climate change landed on President Johnson's desk in 1965. Uh, and now we're watching everything that climate scientists predicted come true. And the thing that is, I think, so frightening about it all is, you know, not just what is happening, but what this portends. Um, okay. Say, say, I like her. Say we have it, climate change. Like, what does that mean? The climate's changing, okay? So whenever climate change occurs, that shit could be natural, right. or that shit be, can be because of human activity. So when motherfuckers litter, that shit can motherfucking bad air, like gas and shit being birthed into the air and I shit. I understand that, yeah. Like, all types of shit, bro, causes the climate pollution. change. Like, all types, types of shit, shit bro. But like, it's, it's bad on the earth. Like, the earth has health, too. Like. No, I understand. But what does that mean for us? Like, say say that, does, like, like, the worst happens, like, climate change. Like, what does that mean for us? Like, what does that mean? We can't go outside. I mean, it just, I can't breathe. It depends. Anymore. It depends on what occurs. I mean, if it gets that bad to where, you know, you can't. I mean, maybe motherfuckers gotta go outside and gas mask in a hundred years. Like, ain't no telling, fam. Like, oh, I'm dead. You notice, know, like, okay, so I work. Talks. Okay, so like, I know, like, in California, they have like a zero admission rule. So like, motherfuckers there is not gonna be able to burn like, like eighteen wheelers. You're not gonna be able to burn like diesel fuel out there and shit. Like, people are going to be pushing alternative, like, vehicles and shit here pretty soon, fam. I mean, like, they trying to be as conservative as they can. I wonder what Colorado shit, like, like, what they shit is. Like, can they, can you bump an AT, pump an ATV out there? I don't know. You know, they shit different. Like, that shit is just crazy to me for the simple fact that, like, 90 degrees on the ocean is insane. That's not right. On the, yeah. o on, on the surface. Like, as a scientist, I understand where she's coming from. Like, I'm going to say... I'm freaking out, like, type shit. But yeah, that's why you see so much more shit put into place these days about climate change and global warming and shit like that. You see people starting to get more active in the community and take precautions and that shit. Drive electric cars and shit. I mean, yeah, I was curious what would we do if there was climate change, like a crisis. I mean, there's, there's, like, cause that's not, it's not some shit that we can reverse. Yeah, you know. So like, once we fuck, I mean, we going, get to, we going through that. If shit. we get to where we're fucked, we're just fucked. You feel me? We're going through that shit. But I'm coming out on top. This could just be a hot summer. Though. We contaminated. Ooh, we would be fucked. All the dirt contaminated. Everything you grow is fucked. No vegetation. Now that's we can't. Shit. Now you can't grow food. Now that's fucking up. Peep, nigga. Niggas became, grocery niggas stores niggas is completed. Cannibals and shit. How did they grow across? 
I'm hunting animals, fam. The, the, there are all these sort of cascading effects in your, your book about extinction and, 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 and the yeah. ecosystem effects of, of this climate change. I mean, one of the things I was seeing was coral bleaching and coral, which is obviously a huge part of the, the ocean ecosystem. It has to be at a certain pretty narrow band of temperature, so this poses a threat to that. I mean, yeah. I can't even compute the cascading effects of all this. We think about the humans, but obviously it, it's playing throughout the, the entire ecosystems, and particularly in the ocean. Yeah, and I think that the effects that you're going to see with warming oceans are going to be, you know, immense. I mean, scientists make the point that the planet should have been called ocean. 70% of our planet is covered by ocean. And when you warm up the oceans, you change a lot of the parameters that are crucial to marine life and will have ramifications for the weather on land, absolutely very serious ones. But for example, one thing that you're doing, you know, warm water simply holds less oxygen than cold water. So you're going to get these tremendous dead zones uh, where pretty much nothing can live. And you're getting this stratification of the oceans as well, where yeah. you're not going to get upwelling of nutrients, which a lot of mm. um, creatures need in the ocean. So you're going to get, as you yeah. pointed out, these cascading effects. And trying to fuck off my catfish, my shrimp, crab legs. Nigga, I'm going to eat that shit, fam. Shit going to be dead. We are already seeing some of them um and we're going to see more of them and coral damn that's gotta be because of the hurricane Dang, that shit ain't got nothing to do with the temperature well, i don't know the, like the, is that considered climate change I feel like they were trying to say um this is happening on top of people already not trying to pay for their house because they're not there or whatever you know all that other stuff you know yeah, because they were saying, well, I understand they were saying about the fucking insurance companies leaving because of, but they were saying it's a climate, that. like, is a hurricane considered climate change? Like, obviously the climate's changing, the weather's changing, but, like, that's not, I'm thinking of, like, like I would say a hurricane is climate change, right? Yeah, I would. I, I know, I say that too, like, te but I, whenever I'm talking climate change, I'm thinking, like, global warming, you know what I mean? Right. Not, like, natural that disasters. That shit wasn't happening because of that. Not weather, like natural right. disasters. I'm thinking like global warming type shit. Right. So, but I mean, I guess technically that's fucking so climate yeah. change. You feel me? Get the fuck away from the waters. You live on the edges of the fucking world. Get out. Most important thing to take away from this video is just fucking be aware, fam. Like, just pay attention and shit. Take care of the fucking earth. Like, we only got one. If we fuck this off, where we gonna live, y'all? We all gonna go to Mars? We all gonna get on a rocket ship and go to fucking Mars? Hell no, we fucked the earth off, we all fucked. You feel me? So, yeah. Yeah. take care of this shit. Love each and every single one of y'all. Hopefully y'all fucked with the reaction. Hopefully y'all fucked with the video. Hopefully y'all learned some shit. Uh, make sure you comment what you wanna see next. Uh, subscribe, turn on the notifications, roll to 15K. Skip. We'll get it with you on the next one, OTB bros. We out, gang.